great game, you have no chance versus him. That's just the truth of it, because Kimbo is the best player in the world, year in, year out. So if he plays a great game, you're going to have next to no chance. You need him to slip up a bit. Let's Madden. As the Patriots Dolphins have at it. And Skimbo will have that West Coast offense. Take a look at the playbooks here. And for Z-Thumbs, Seahawks, and the very popular Jets defense model. Yeah, we've seen him run that Seahawks offense, run that eye tight, twin tight ends formation, running the stretch almost every play on Master Gamer. He had no answer for it. Skimbo's going to be really prepared for that run, though, so he's going to have to bring out more. There's that West Coast offense that we talked about with Skimbo. Already been in seven EA Major Final Fours, most of anyone in history. But on average, runs, what, one out of every seven plays on offense, that's it. So you're looking at you firecrackers in the air here with that pass. So when Madden comes out, what Skimbo does is he goes through the gun bunch playbooks, playbooks that have gun bunch, and he tries to find the best route combinations possible, and that's the playbook he's going to run. He's not going to open it up to any more formations. He's always going to be in that gun bunch. Do a little live look in at that Snickers Players Lounge, too, where the NFC combatants can just chill today. See, Free the Penguins has knocked his way in there, too. A little celebratory beverage, maybe a Snickers bar in there. But it's mostly the NFC guys right now. And there are some fun matchups tomorrow, which we'll get into as well. They look comfortable for now, but uh, those nerves, I bet, will be jangling by tomorrow afternoon. There's not, no doubt. A lot of players like to pretend like they don't get nervous, like they don't get the case, especially these guys are so young, they have no choice but to be anxious and, and nervous. They're playing for a lot of money. Skimbo with those headphones askew looks like he doesn't even care right now. And I think there's a lot of talk about the been there, done that. And the bright lights didn't scare free the Penguins, right? The, the game that we were just watching before this. But what will happen here with Z Thumbs as he tries to represent Miami against one of the greatest in Madden? And, you know, just looking at at Z Thumbs, how he got here too, Mo. In the club championship final, his first throw from Andrew Luck was a wild overthrow. His second was a pick six. He was down to Master Gamer 7 nothing, 20 seconds in, but he rallied. I mean, here he is. Yeah, I was calling that game, and once he threw that pick six, I thought it was going to be over. You know, I thought Master was going to just kind of pummel him, but that wasn't the case. He kind of locked back in. He found a little run play, and Master Gamer had absolutely no answer for it. Z Thumb says his favorite NFL player is actually Lamar Jackson, but he's rolling with luck instead. He says, Lam Lamar tempts me to run around when in reality I have a clean pocket. So he kind of saves himself from that temptation using Andrew Luck. And that's a that's a really good thing that he notices that because that's an issue I have when I don't really understand. You know, I, I see Lamar Jackson, he's faster, but in reality, kind of speeding up my game when I need to just slow it down, stay in that pocket and make a good throw. So that's a really good, that's a really good tidbit that he, he learned that playing the game. Waiting to get this one started, get everything technically sound, but the other game out of this division is already moving. Let's check in with Nick. I know he's taking a peek. I feel like we have deja vu here. We got some technical difficulties on the main stage. We got it going here between AKG and Stevie J. AKG running the ball first drive, able to kick a 54-yard field goal. It's Stevie J's first drive of the game. Yeah, AKG got the ball first. He looked decent on offense, moved the ball down the field, and then he got into a tough third and nine, scrambled up with Russell Wilson. Stevie with a great click on, stopped him, held him to three, and now Stevie gets a chance on offense. AKG just lucky to stay in field goal range. As a player we haven't seen a whole lot since maybe that first week of the club's Bo Jackson at halfback. Yeah, I did talk to Stevie, and he loves this Eric, Eric Dickerson, actually. Oh, it he is the he Dickerson. He loves this Eric ED. Dickerson. Yeah, he's got the jukebox on him. We're going to see him pound the rock with him a lot here. We've seen a lot of Eric Dickerson. Yeah. Dick Dickerson is a player we've seen plenty of with that jukebox. Yeah, he's also got George Kittle, route apprentice at tight end. So he's only got Tom Brady at quarterback. No one that's going to obviously scramble out, but he can th use that George Kittle route cam. So we saw Joke really scrambling with Lamar Jackson. We're not going to see that with yeah. Tom Brady. I don't think he has the breakaway speed that Lamar does. Second down and six. It's Eric Dickerson in the backfield. He's got George Kittle. I think the tight end is a position you may see used a lot more here with the added cap as Dickerson trying to find some room right side. Won't pick up anything. Yeah, AKG running a lot of this edge blitz out of 3-4. Stevie said he, he's played that a lot. He has a lot of reps against it. And it looks like we have a situation here as well. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> We're getting close back to our game with Z Thumbs and Skimbo. Let's throw it back to the desk. Our main game, it's Josh and Mo. Yeah, the admins have been the MVPs so far here today. They've gotten uh, a lot of camera time. But now we are good to go. And Skimbo 
All-time leading money winner, most Madden bank at 281,000 large into this week. Up against a guy with nothing to lose here. Z Thumbs, his first EA major appearance, failed to qualify last year, finished 449th the year before. He's from the home of Madden 20, Orlando, Florida. And the guy that was inspired by my partner a little bit. And talk about that going forward. And Andrew Luck rolling out here Taking for Skimbo. Taking that shot. That's a pick. Oh! oh! Couldn't quite grab it. Cutting across. What, what did you see there, Mo? It looked like he had him, but he just wasn't. He was too far back in that pocket, so he, his throw kind of sailed a little bit and gave Z Thumbs an opportunity to pick the ball off, but his player just couldn't come down with it. If you're Z Thumb, that's a play that has to go your way, especially versus a player like Skimbo. If that's such a big play. If you're able to get that stop, you kind of control momentum. Yeah, you can't imagine there are too many donations here just handed out by Skimbo today. It's a second and ten. Loading up with Luck, who's getting chased. Flinging on the run, one hand Kesson. And it looked like Skimbo was going right back to that same play, just didn't have the time to throw the post route, so he just went to the corner route, still able to complete it. But it looked like it looks like Skimbo might have something there with that wide receiver post motion motion that solo receiver kind of get behind cover three a little bit. A lot of players don't use that. Harrison had the play of the game for Skimbo in the club final. A tip ball that he took 80 yards for a touchdown. And Skimbo's got the slot apprentice on Marvin Harrison, giving that extra look or two or three on the route tree. Right near midfield, no score, just getting going. On the first day of this great competition, Andrew Luck tucks it and runs, he'll get belted. It looks like Skimbo sees something with his defense. He keeps calling that same play. Look for him to hit a big play here soon. Skimbo is loaded up at the receiver position. Does use those guys to run sometimes. Which is how the Madden NFL Championships, you can have a starting running back be TJ Logan. I know that might sound weird, but... On a second down and six. And Tyree Kill motioning out towards the right. Look for that in route on the back side. Luck will just plunge up the middle and slide for the first down. And that's why you use that escape artist. They send four guys. They're almost never going to come in. And if they do, you're able to just get up the middle if there's no spy. That escape artist makes your quarterback run his true speed. So he's always going to be able to outrun those slow defensive tackles. This is a double luck game. Both players using him. A little flare out here and not a lot happening. And it's funny because Andrew Luck in his career against New England for real, 0-4 in the regular season, 0-2 in the playoffs. In fact, Andrew Luck's postseason record overall, Mo, is 4-4. Tom Brady's is 30-10. One guy was number one overall pick, the other number 199. But that's a, another story for another time. Skimmo's going to recognize that he went to cover three here almost for sure. So who, who are you looking at to get it to? I, I'm always looking at Harrison in the slot. Oh. Looking too long right there, and down goes Andrew Luck. Deion Sanders... And if there's a knock that he can't tackle, we didn't see it there. And, you know, we see these players a lot of times use budget players to send off the blitzes. He's using Deion Sanders, one of the fastest players in the game, and I think that might give Skimbo some trouble because he's never seen it before. Brings up a third and 16. And a decided underdog, Z Thumbs, hanging right in against the heavily favored Skimbo. Look for the tight end on the lay route. Let's go, baby. Didn't get it away in time, and Ooh. Z Thumbs holding. Skimmo's going to have to punt his first possession. This is not what we expected. He takes almost four minutes off the clock, but doesn't get any points. This is a really good situation for Z Thumbs if he's able to go down the field and get any sort of points. What a phenomenal punt, though. Dropped it from <sighs> corner. No chance for Deion Sanders. So, yeah, a bit of a surprise here. And uh, just to get kind of a, a grand sense of what it would mean if somehow this Dolphins team emerges and it's Z Thumbs going forward and not Skimbo Mo. I mean, the the upset of Drini by Kratobin, I mean, is it that realm? Are we talking about that kind of an upset if it happens? That would lapse. This would lapse that. You know, this would this would run circles around that if, if Z-Thumbs is able to knock off Skimbo. Even though it's just around a 32 game, when I say no one has given Z-Thumbs a chance, there is no one that's given him a chance. From the shadow of his end zone, it's Chris Johnson whacked out of bounds. And why is everybody suddenly using Chris Johnson? Clinton Portis has been put away. So with the NFL 100, they, they labeled Chris Johnson a top top 100 player. So he has that really good card. He's way faster than that Clinton Portis, and he's still able to get jukebox. So that's why we're seeing him out there. 
And jukebox costs you a little bit more in Mutt now, right? It's gone up to 40 instead of 35, but it, it sounds like it's well worth it. Yeah, if you're going to be running the ball, you should use it because, you know, you're going to be able to get bigger plays rather than if you didn't have any chemistry on your on your running back. You're just, you're just going to get tackled. You know, when you have that jukebox, you're able to juke out of tackles, get up the field, and don't lose any stamina when you do it. I know it's early here, Mo, but a third and three right now for a decided underdog. If he can keep this drive alive, that's got to make him feel really good. And I think we're going to see a run play here, honestly, because, I, you know, this isn't a situation where you really want to pass. Good. Oh. Just breaks out of that tackle and move the chains. And that's what that jukebox was. He would have been at fourth and short, but he has that jukebox able to get out of that Troyaki tackle, whereas if Skimbo Hillman on that side, he would have been So it's just kind of an unlucky for Skimbo. Great recognition by Z-Thumbs there to run it yeah, towards already, Troyaki. You, I think you've already checked a box here, right? Five minutes in, you've kept Skimbo scoreless. You just picked up. And the even better situation is you're at your own 15-yard line. So if you're able to go down the field and get points here, you might be able to take it into halftime and then get the ball back. So you're going to be up in possession with some points and getting the ball. It's just a, it's just so big when you're playing a person like Skimbo when you limit those possessions. So I got to get to this story on Z Thumbs in a moment as Johnson gets absolutely crushed. But you know, I mentioned, I'm going to tell this story so you don't have to, but Z Thumb says, I was inspired by Mo because he remembers the game three years ago. He was matched up with my partner, ran this play called inside switch from bunch tight end. He absolutely flooded me. 21 nothing in the first quarter, he said. I, he said, I actually quit the game because I felt like I was just wasting his time talking about you as Johnson squirms forward here. But he says what that game made him realize is he just had so much to learn and it inspired him to really bear down, start getting serious about roster construction and just getting inside the game. So don't know if you know that, Mo, but you have pushed this guy forward and there's Johnson going oh, forward. He's to the 45, another first down. Really cool story, you know. I love to hear stuff like that. You know, I, I had no idea about that. And something I something I the little chess match going on here. Skimbo's kind of moving Tillman, uh, Tillman around a little bit because he's his big hitter on defense, and he has Troy Apke at the other safety. And what we're seeing is Zethum's just attacking the that other safety where wherever Pat Tillman's at, he's running opposite. But we're gonna have to see a pass here because he has Janovich in the running back. We're not gonna see a run here. This is where it can get a little bit scary here. I probably would have just called a timeout. Andrew Luck is going to have to put it to the air for him, or not. He'll slide down. For thumbs, though, I would I would have liked to just see a timeout right there, you know, because you're already you're already up a possession. Why not just try to make this the last drive of the half? Get get your best player out there to run the ball. You know, it was so obvious that he was passing the ball right there, but Skimble wasn't able to get to the quarterback. But if he was, this drive would have been halted. It would not have been able to score on this drive. Working through some technical issues in the other game, by the way, for highlights. We'll get them to you when we can. Chris Johnson cannot go forward here on a third and three coming up. Z Thumbs has already converted on a third and three. So what do you look at this time from a much different part of the field? I think we're going to see another run play here, and hopefully he can sneak it for a first down. This is a huge set of downs right here. If he's able to pick up this first, it's going to be absolutely... Oh. oh, Johnson couldn't quite get there. So now a very interesting call on fourth and one. I, I would probably take this clock down, go to the two-minute warning, and look look to run that same exact call. I wouldn't go under center here because Skimbo's going to be more prepared. It doesn't look like Skimbo has any idea how to stop that run in the backfield. So I would I would just try to bank on getting that one yard with how I've been getting it. You know, you've been picking up three to four yards almost every time with that run. Skimbo hasn't filled yet. I don't think we'll see a play here, but, you know, I could be surprised. Huge, sure. huge fourth and one just on the other side of the two-minute warning here where it 207 rolling down. And he can take it to that warning if he wants to, and well he should. Now we're talking about a guy with 79 wins in games played at EA Majors in Skimbo. So far, Thumbs has six. And this is 0-0 zero, zero at the two-minute warning here in the first half. And Thumbs has the momentum. If he's able to pick up this first down, Skimbo's not going to score before half. If if Thumbs picks up this first down, Skimbo's not a, not going to get another possession. This 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 fourth down right here could decide the game. I know it sounds silly, but this this stops Skimbo from getting another possession before half. He's going to have to wait till the second half to get the ball back. Needs a 46 yard Let's line. Go. He steps through. Woo, Just enough before Shazier lowered the boom and Mo 5% of the community thought that Z-Thumbs would even come out of that final four in the Dolphins Club Championship a week and a half ago. And here he is toe-to-toe, -to -toe, nose to nose with Skimbo. Johnson trying to stretch it outside, nothing there. 
and he stayed in bounds. A little bit lucky there that they caught him down in bounds. It's just going to stop Skimbo from getting another possession here. If he's able to pick up 10 yards and go up 3 nothing half and then get the ball back, he's going to have a really good chance of winning this game. You know, you're keeping Skimbo off the field, and when Skimbo has to score, it's a lot harder to score. You know, when you're able to just sit back and play free, it's a little bit easier to play offense. But when you're, when you're in a situation where you have no choice but to score, you have to slow down, really think about things. It looked like on that first drive, Skimbo may have played too loose. You know, it looked like he just kept trying to hit that big shot play. But now we're going to have to see Z-Thumbs con convert a first down here and get in field goal range. Look for that wheel route. He's got him. Luck lofting. And it's DJ Chark. He couldn't hang on. That busted up. Ooh. Trying to go over the top there to DJ Chark. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Sharks just not going to be able to beat Denzel Ward on that route, looks like. I thought the route was going to get open, but that's just Denzel Ward making Denzel, Denzel Ward plays way too fast for Shark, and that's why he was able to get back there. Z-Thumbs has run the table so far. He came out of the winner's bracket straight away, so he's 5-0 and right now. Of course, the Dolphins actually ran the table all the way in an NFL season. The only undefeated team, popping champagne and all of that. Luck about to get hit, gets rid of it. Oh, oh he got it! He got it to Hester! Touchdown, oh. Z-Thumbs! And Z-Thumbs had him wide open to start that play, but he waited too long. Skimbo should have picked that ball off, and it should have went the other way for six. But it doesn't. You know, he caught the ball. That's a touchdown. And now if you're Skimbo, you have to score before, before the end of this half. You're down by seven. There's only 50 seconds Ooh. left, but you got three timeouts. Bless. You want to focus on getting a field oh, goal, bless. but Skimbo's got... Something make, make make a big play. You know he's always going to be able to hit you deep. So if you're Z thumbs, I would play this really conservatively and just almost give up three points here. I know it sounds crazy, but you're going to get the ball back to start the half. You want to be up points and have the ball. Massive upset in the making. Long way to go, but the University of Central Florida grad Z thumbs currently working as a valet. And he drives the car all by himself into the end zone here. Yeah, if, if you're Skimbo, you need Deion Sanders to make that play. You know, that's where you want him to throw the ball. Once he threw the ball, Skimbo was like, yes, you know, I got to stop. But that just isn't what happened. Devin Hester able to come down with that run for a touchdown. Just a really fortunate play there for Thumbs. Skimbo usually a volume passer. Oh, he waited too long. Yeah, and now going across the field, and he's got Smith out near midfield. Clock down to 38 seconds. And that's kind of what I mean. You know, in that first drive, Skimba would have thrown that post almost guaranteed. Now he's in a situation where if one of Thumb's players makes that play, the game's over, you know. So that's why you've seen him just wait and just hit the tight end out of the, out of the backfield that was blocking. So it's John who's Smith, not Hester, not Harrison, not Moss, not Ross, that comes up with the big catch. Look for Skimbo to go for a big play here soon, though. He's not going to just keep dunking it down to, to, to Jonu Smith. I promise you that. He's looking to hit him up top for a touchdown. There was a quick strike TD in the club championship against PCAM with Randy Moss. Right now it's more of a Harrison part of the bunch on the right. Andrew Luck will tuck and run out of bounds. We're down to 33 seconds left. The ball right at midfield. And, you know, this isn't a formation that you see a lot of on defense. It's big nickel over G, so Skimbo hasn't seen this formation a lot. It's probably going to make him slow down just a little bit. His reads aren't going to be as crisp as they would be versus that 1-4-6. One thing that jumps off the page as you look at the rosters here, Mo, Troy App, Adrian Amos, and Daniel Sorensen are the safeties for Z-Thumbs. No Palomalu, no Tillman. And Luck going on the run into coverage. Harrison's got it. Looked like it's illegal touching, though. So even if he would have... Oh, offensive pass Yeah, offensive P.I. Boy, nothing going right for Skimbo. Yeah, that's not, that's not a call we see a lot of in Madden. Almost never. So second and 17 makes things a lot more difficult. You know, maybe not to get... It's, that's, it makes it a lot more difficult to get points, you know, because you were going to go for it on fourth down anyways, but now you're backed up to your own 40-yard line rather than the 50. It gets a lot tougher. Luck again on the run. The toe drag. Oh and will they give it to him? I don't think so. You know, Madden is kind of making this game real tough on Skimbo, ah. making the game a little bit easier on thumbs, but that's what you need when you're playing somebody like Skimbo. When a, lot of, a lot of things have gone Skimbo's way in big games. You know what I mean? Right now, they are really testing him. And what I mean by that is he, he's just having some unfortunate plays that just aren't going his ah. way, and it's making him really difficult to move the ball. You saw the body language. Like, he's trying to get to his happy place somehow, but game's not letting him do it. It's third and 17. Look for this deep dig on the left side here. 
Either the corner round or the dig is the only two routes he's going to throw to. It's going to be the dig. Andrew Luck on the run across his body again. And again, it's very close to that sideline. They're going to give it to him for into field goal range. Huge play right there. You know, that one, I thought he might have got in on the first one. That one I was a little bit questionable whether or not he got in on. But they call him inbounds, and that's all that matters. Skimbo, if you're Skimbo, there's only 11 seconds here. You know, this is really easy to make a mistake and throw a pick here. So you don't want to, you don't want to make a bad read. A diving catch, getting it down to the 10 with five seconds left. Do you have time to run a play here? I don't think so, but Skimbo knows this offense a lot better than I do in this red zone. But it does look like he's going to go ahead and kick the field goal. I, I don't know. It's so close because that five seconds, but it really looked like it was about to tick to four. So you got to think it's probably just four and a half. I, I like the decision to kick a field goal here. He uses the great Patriots kicker, Steven Goskowski, third most accurate kicker in NFL history. And look at here, 7-3 with a decided underdog on top. That should very well be our halftime score. Well, you're too young to remember when Springsteen brought Courtney Cox up on stage. That was like the, the come out moment, right? But that's what we got here, a star is born. Nobody expected it. Z Thumbs is up against the great Skimbo at a halftime, seven to three. They're gonna get right back at it here. And obviously the question across the Madden community, can this upstart the L.A. from down in Florida? Can he take down Skimbo the rest of the way? And this is what I was talking about. He's getting the ball back. You know, you're up some points and you're getting the ball versus Skimbo. It's, it's really, really big in a game like this. Can you get points on this drive? Even if it's three points and you're up by seven and Skimbo has to score a touchdown, you have the edge in the game. But if you get stopped on this drive, Skimbo's going to take control. He's going to march down and score a touchdown. It's just the th type of things that he does. Skimbo has made 11 of the 16 possible MCS EA majors, tied with Young Kiv for most. Wouldn't that be something if there's no Young Kiv and no Skimbo going forward here? Johnson whacked. Something I noticed on that last play is Skimbo had clicked onto his safety, so what that does is it makes his safety stay stationary. He's not going to follow the, his assignment on the run play, so if you motion a guy over that's manned up to him, he would just stay there. If I was Z Thumbs, I would have noticed that. I would have tried to flip the play and it kind of quick snapped it, and you would have had numbers on the other side, but it looked like Thumbs just didn't realize what was going on right there, and that's why he got stopped in the backfield. Thumbs used a stampeding run game last week to get this far, beat Master Gamer. Looks like he might have some space here on the inside. Remember, it's Chris Johnson, not Dalvin Cook for him, this go. Chris Johnson is populating almost half of the rosters in this field of 32, a suddenly very important player. Thing Luck escapes. Ooh, Luck gets hell. drilled at the 31-yard line. You can't take those hits, but it looked like the ball was switching hands with Luck. That's why he wasn't able to slide. He had the ball in his right hand, and then Luck just kind of went to his own animation and switched it over to his left. That's why he took the hit, but no fumble, so it doesn't matter. Another big third down. And Johnson, even with the jukebox, cannot get away from Fletcher Cox and company. Fourth down. I don't love the decision to punt here. You're playing someone that's really, really good on offense. You don't want to give him the ball back too often. Yeah, Skimbo with 70 points in his last three games into this one. Right now being held to three skinny little points. And that's kind of been how it's been going early on today. We talked about what happened in the AFC North with finals of 29-0 and 13-3. Offense really at a premium so far today. One thing I like that Thumbs is doing, though, he's using these linebackers where if Skimbo had a running back that was really good, he wouldn't be able to do that because Skimbo would just be able to run straight at his user and he'd be completely out of position versus the run. He's got the touchdown. You think? Up oh, over top, Tyreek Hill! And you're right! Skimbo is on top! We've seen Skimbo go to that play time and time again. He finally got enough time to throw it there. And that's because he has Troy Apke at that cornerback position who doesn't have the highest zone awareness. So he's not going to realize that that post is coming over top when he has that comeback on the same side. We talked about the tactical decision to go no Palomalu, no Tillman. It's Apke and kind of a, a bag of nothing, right? I mean, in terms of his safety play. And it finally does catch up to Z Thumbs. It's a 10-7 game. Deion Sanders with some wiggle. Uh -oh. Deion Sanders! Uh -oh. Deion Sanders! And Z Let's Thumbs go. will take him Woo. to the 15, 10, 5, bye-bye! Ah, oh, 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 o
What a fleeting oh, moment of joy God. for Sumo. It lasted, what, 20 seconds? The stick work right there by Z Thumbs was phenomenal. Oh, I cannot believe God. he made them miss so many tackles. Your Skemo, just make the tackle. You know, you're playing great defense. He's not comfortable at all on offense. Skemo looked like he was trying to lay some hit sticks, and that's why Z Thumbs was able to score that touchdown. All right, Scott Cole remind everyone that at the first club championship years ago, Dion muffed a punt that led directly to a belt. This was no muff. This was a kickoff taken at the goal line across the other goal line. Yeah, it looked like Skemo kind of bit down too far inside with his, his user. He's supposed to be containing that outside, and that's why Dion spin move outside. Just no one can catch him. A Snickers replay touchdown. That is satisfying for the underdog. Z thumbs toggling back on top at 14 to 10. And we have got ourselves a ball game. Skimmo's going back to that same play that got him the touchdown before. Look for that post again. He'll land Harrison out to the left. And with nothing open yet, he will let it fly for Hester! Hester! Okay, touchdown! Let's go. Hey. Call a timeout. Hey. Oh. No more free touchdowns! Oh, three no plays, free three touchdowns. touchdowns. You know, this game was really low scoring in the first half. And we got 21 points just to start this half. That's insane. Well, you and I were talking beforehand, Mo. Don't get a shootout with Skimbo, right? And it's not what Z's meant to back into, but he's there. Yeah, look look for this game to slow down a bit on this drive. Z Thumb's going to have to get the run game going. He's got, he should be putting those halves versus that play. You know, the thirds just aren't going to ever get back there. Just just questionable defense there by Z Thumb's, especially when Skimbo just hit you with the same play. No more free touchdowns. That's the the rallying cry. But getting free right here, Devin Hester, 69 yards. And that's why Skimbo uses him. You know, he's he, he wanted a free touchdown. You know, that's all that is. He same exact play, really. Chris Johnson with a burst and move the chains here for Z Thumbs as we get to about 2:35 left in the third quarter. You know, Z Thumbs has found something with this shotgun run here that, you know, Skimbo hasn't really been able to slow down. It looked like he kind of went away from it that first possession in the third quarter. I'd like to see him go back to it. Thumbs has been 31st in this major so far in points per possession. What can he come up with here? Really riding Chris Johnson a ton. And I, and I like what he did right there. You know, Fletcher Cox got off his block, but he's just not fast enough to go out and tackle Chris Johnson. So take it outside and just be one-on-one -on -one with that cornerback. Eventually, you're going to be able to make him miss, and you're going to score a touchdown. It was 10 years ago when Chris Johnson was named the NFL's Offensive Player of the Year for Tennessee. Now trying to get things done for Z Thumbs. Uh -oh. And he's got the first down with a spin. He'll get more. He'll get to the 45, 71 yards on the ground for Chris Johnson so far for Z Thumbs. And it looked like he made Dion miss, and then he only had Troy Apke to beat. Troy Apke's probably Skimmo's lowest rated defender as far as DBs go. I would have ran straight at him and tried to do the move. But he looked like he spun, allowed the defense to catch up a bit. You got to just go right at him right there. That's your last line of defense. Make him miss, and it's going to be a touchdown. No Miami Dolphin has ever been on the cover of Madden. If, them, or if Thumbs beats Skimbo and wins this belt, <laughs> maybe he can lay claim. This would be some kind of win if he can get it. Running again with Johnson. And we're only going to have a couple of possessions left in this game. I like what Thumbs is doing. He's taking a lot of this clock. If he's able to score a touchdown here, it puts an enormous amount of pressure on Skimmo to get a touchdown right back. Field goal, you know, he's got a chance in the fourth quarter when no one was giving him a chance. And I talked to him yesterday. He said it's an honor to play a legend like Skimmo. You know, when I hear somebody say that, you kind of are writing yourself off a bit, you know, because you shouldn't be focused on who you're playing. You should be focused on the game at hand, or on playing your game. So, you know, this is, this is a really good situation for Thumbs. Moore with Johnson. He's got him. Stepping to the outside. Puts the move on. Move those chains. But that's ex he did the exact thing I would have done right there. You get past the, the first line of defense, uh, and you only got Troy Aki to beat. Try to juke him just the same as you did Dion. Really good decision right there. Instead of spinning back into the defense, I'm glad he was able to re recognize what would be the correct decision to do. Takes us to the end of the third quarter. Z Thumbs on the march, on the move, trying to take down a giant here. And if he's able to get a touchdown around the two-minute warning here, it's going to be really tough for Skimmo going forward. Johnson. And he'll edge his way to the 30-yard line. Oh. 
And, you know, we, we should mention about Z Thumbs. He is seasoned. It's not like he's never done this. 427 ladder games, most of any of these 32 finalists. So he's proven online, just not so much on this stage. And, Mo, you and I have talked about the difference between singing in the shower and singing at Carnegie Hall. But this guy is singing and moving and dancing close to oh, another first down. He stays in bounds, too. Yeah, and Scambo has no answer for that run play. You know, that looks that looks like a run play. He's just not able to get the, the run defense out there for. And I'm surprised we haven't seen Scambo switch up the defensive formation at all. Z Thumbs, if I were you, I would just come right back out in that same shotgun. Don't go under center. You're going to give Scambo a really good chance to blow up the run. Z Thumbs overall win percentage, Mo, is at 67%. Only four of these 32 finalists are worse than that. But he's got a chance to overtake Skimbo right now. And what Skimbo did, he put Tillman back at, he put Tillman at that corner. Steathums isn't going to be able to juke him out. Really good decision by Skimbo. Oh my God! Got blown up. All right, so now what? You got to run away from Tillman. You cannot run to his side. Such a great adjustment there by Skimbo. Th that was phenomenal. A really, really good adjustment. And we're going to see, we're going to see him take advantage and run to the opposite side of Skimbo's Pat Tillman here. Just a great chess match going on right now. They're calling it fourth and inches. 3.19 to go. He got inches, he got the yards. Move those chains. And how about Z Thumbs? When he went under center, or when he no huddled right there, he made Chris Johnson really tired. I hope Z Thumb doesn't, doesn't take him out the game. Just take this clock down, call your timeout, try to make this the last drive of the game. You're in a really good situation uh, versus one of the best players of all time. Look at Z Thumbs just trying to tune everything out. He told us the music he goes to, of all things, is can't be touched. It can't be stopped, it can't be moved, can't be rocked, can't be shook. That's about right. Got an icy cool to him. And Skimbo, meantime, looks like this is getting away. He's rushing to play here. Johnson oh. stepping through. Johnson to the seven-yard line. Oh and to your God. point, Mo. He's going to score around that two-minute yeah, warning. That's I exactly mean, what he wants. 20 from Chris Johnson, and that needle did not appear to be on empty. And a warning. I can't believe Skimbo waited this long to go to that 3-4 odd. I would have came out on this a long time ago when I seen that 1-4-6 didn't have a chance. Johnson again. Johnson pushing can't quite get there, which I guess is not tragic, right? Because you're trying to take as much time as you can off the clock. Yeah, and I, I have no idea why Skimbo didn't call a time out there. You should be trying to preserve as much time as possible. Remember the quick strike capabilities of Skimbo if and when he gets the ball back. Johnson in there! What's up? What's up? Stop Touchdown, Z Thumbs. Can oh he my God, hang I can't on? Stop this run. One stop. You know, he's got a really good chance at it, but if he keeps putting those thirds out there, Skimbo is going to score Lord. a one play touchdown. you got to go to the halves. You can't allow oh. Skimbo to just hit you over the top for a touchdown again. All right, so now the native One's Oklahoman. He's got to channel his inner Will Rogers here. Never let yesterday use up too much of today. It was one of the great Will Rogers quotes of all time. You can't be thinking about what has happened to this point. You got to think you can come back from this. Chris John carrying the mail again for Z-Thumb. Just really good vision right there. Elijah would have just went right up the middle and got hit by Pat Tillman. He's, he's found something here with this run game. And is this going to ripple throughout the rest of this tournament? I mean, are people going to try to, to copycat this? Let's go. Skimbo's going for the shot play again. And he drills it in there, More fingertip that. catch to Harrison. More He's got to use a timeout. This is, at, at some point, if Skimbo doesn't score a big touchdown, it's Get 50 happened, or 60 yeah. yards. Lord. He's going to have a really tough decision to make that zone where he's got to force something. If you're Z-Thumbs, you've got to just get him in one of those situations. Don't over, over adjust here and give up a touchdown. Two timeouts for Skimbo. 109 on the clock. He's got the post again. He gave up the he Come gave on. up the post oh, again. No. Lung flings it. Lung's got Hester. Hester's across, but still a minute to go. That's twice to Devin Hester, and you called it both times, Mo. Yeah, you know, we see it in the NFL in this situation where there's about a minute left. They go to that two high safety look just so they're trying to forbid a touchdown. And Z Thumbs just kept staying in that one high safety look. You're just not going to be able to stop that route combination. 62 seconds left, though, and I know there's not that quick strike ability, not the pass game for Z Thumbs that Skimbo has, but you've got time, right? And you got you an got opportunity with Dion right here on the kicker. Coverage's time. Remember, Dion broke one earlier. 
But as we take a look at Hester getting loose, and you called it, Mo, that's once to the left side, once to the right side, but open both times. I say, look, Scammo's going to see that every single time and go to that big shot play. I don't love him going straight to the pass, though. He has enough time where he could break a big run. He's kind of put himself in a bad situation here where he has to pass every play. He's got Andrew Luck. And Luck goes down! Timeout taken right away by Z Thumbs. First sack for Skimbo in this game. That's a heck of a time for it. And I believe in those 450 games he played online, he didn't play somebody that ran that deep corner with that route combination to hit you over the top versus cover three. It really surprises me that he kept giving that up, but if you don't know how to stop it, you just don't know how to stop it. If he would have just been in cover two and forced Skimbo to keep the ball in bounds, he would have a really good chance of winning this game, but he doesn't. He ran cover three up top, and now he's in a situation where he has to pass the ball, and he's clearly not comfortable doing so. Mike Skimbo's preparation and execution is off the charts. And now he's got to play some defense. A 24-21 lead for him. And we'll get you the AKG and Stevie J story soon enough. But what a story is unfolding here. A flare. Oh! And they got the completion, but not the first down. DJ Chark. You're going to need a bigger chunk than that, though. That was only 10 yards, and you stayed in bounds. You're running out of time here. you got to pick up 20 yards on one of these plays. Hester slot left. Luck gets rid of it. He's got Whoa. Chark again. Whoa. And we're down to 43 oh, yeah. seconds to go. It looked like his guy just missed a block right there. He had him. The touchdown. The Jaguars receiver out of LSU, DJ Chark, and now Luck to Hester. Now, where does he need to get if it's a field goal? He's got to get to about the 35, 36 yard line to, to have a chance. And, but Skimmo's going to be able to ice his kicker, so you're going to have to pick up 20, 25 yards on this play. By the way, Justin Tucker now looks like a heck of a pickup when you build your roster, right, for Z-Thumbs, if it's going to come down to a long field goal to force OT. He's just not going to have time to throw any of these routes right here, though. Skimmo's going to send the pressure. He's going to be well short of the field goal. On a second and three. Crossing Ooh. route. It comes loose. 21 seconds to go. And if you're Skimmo, that's almost the worst thing that could have happened because even if he t makes that catch, he's not going to be in field goal range, and the clock would have been way down low. <laughs> that, was, that was a really unfortunate play there for Skimmo because you thought you were going to pick it off, but if you don't pick it off, you want Z-Thumbs to go anyways. Just a, just a little bit of an unfortunate play here where Z-Thumbs gets a new life. Remember Z? Out of timeouts here. Got Hester, got Hill. DJ Chark has been his go-to guy of all things. I don't, I don't know if I like the timeout there by Skimmo because you, you should have just left it to the kicker just in case he's able to get mm. in field goal range. The first thing that Z-Thumbs needs to do right here is pick up the pressure. 44-yard line. Look for one of these slot streaks. Pass rush can't get there. Ball in the air. It's pass! It's Dion, and it's ball game. And that was survival there by Skimmo. That's all that was, just digging deep into his bag of tricks. When he hit him over the top of that touchdown, that kind of gave Skimmo some new life in this tournament where it looked like his chances were running low. From doom to delirium for Skimbo. That was almost one of the great upsets that we've ever seen. It was that close. That would have been the greatest look. That would have been the greatest upset we've ever seen in the MCS area. It took a Deion Sanders pick. Remember, there was a, a Deion Sanders run back of a kick that actually had Z thumbs in it. But you live by the Deion, you dive by the Deion. And Skimbo will move on. Let's check out some highlights now. This AFC Divisional Semifinal. We talked about Dolphins Patriots for real back in week two. It was a 43 0 whitewash. We didn't have this. fortunate play right there to Hester. That should have been picked off, and you see Skimmo put his face palm a little bit. <laughs> but he comes right back with the touchdown out of halftime, takes the lead, and I thought Skimmo would just run away with it at this point. Tyree Kill going in, and here's that Sanders kick return we talked about. 100 yards to the house. Great stick work, huh? Great stick work, but Skimmo a little bit questionable right there. He should have just kept the house contained, just made the tackle, and played some defense, but he didn't, and Z Thumbs doesn't make him pay for it. So then, with it 14 to 10 Z at that point, you called this one too, that there would be an over the top for Hester, and there you go. And, and you know, we kept seeing the same offensive play versus the same defensive play, and Skimbo's gonna take advantage of that every time. Chris Johnson just ran and ran and ran for Z Thumbs. It got to 21 17, and then this was the kill shot. Yeah, you're up by four with a minute left. There's no, you have no business guarding a zig route. 
get back there, guard the post yourself. Can't give up a free touchdown like that. And then to put it away, Deion Sanders jumps it, takes it, and there is your 24-21 final. So Skimbo is through. The pride of Claremore, Oklahoma will go forward, either Stevie J or AKG. For now, though, Skimbo, with the hair all grown out, <laughs> standing by with Evan. Let's figure out what happened there. Thanks, Josh. All right, here with Skimbo, number one MCS earner of all time. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people watching, thought that game would be an easy one to lock in for you, man. I, I want to give you a few minutes to just reflect on how that game in your eyes, what you did well, what you would have liked to do better. Yeah, you know, uh, Thumbs is a good player. I told him, like, when he beat Master Gamer, you know, he found a run that worked and he stuck to it versus me. He found a trips tied in inside zone and a little bubble screen action that I thought I had defense for. And he literally just pounded it and pounded it and pounded it. And that's why I think he's a good player because some yeah. people, you know, they'll do something that works and they won't even go back to it. That, right. That's why I told him, like, you know, you're going to be a good player because when you see something yeah. works, you're going to stick with it just like me. Like, took me my first drive to fill out his defense and I realized he was giving me bombs every play. So yeah. then I knew it was on from there. But, uh, man, I'm not going to lie, that was scary because, uh, you know, his Hester made a play on his first touch and I thought should have been a pick. But after that, you know, every inside zone he ran was, golly, like five, ten yards and my Tillman wasn't coming for me. And, ooh, it was a scary. That was a scary. <laughs> How concerned did you get in the middle of that game? Because there were a few moments, that, you know, we saw you under your, under your breath whispering a few things. Man, I got, yeah, of course I got a little nervous. <laughs> I mean, but here's the thing, like, I always tell, like, people, like, man, you know, you came up with a bunch of stuff this year. And I said, yeah. it doesn't matter if you don't win. It doesn't matter who finds something first. As long if you can't put it together and go win a tournament. Yeah. And that's why I told Mo the other day. I was like, bro, you found best defense. You had a great offense. All people saw the classic was an arm bar. But you found this stuff and you won. And people still don't really know what he was doing. I finally picked up on it later. That's why my run D right. when he was under center was pretty good because, you know, I stole it from him. But it's just like stuff like that, you know. And, you know, I think when you look at it, it all came down to a play that we didn't think it would. In the fourth quarter, we thought the game would be decided a lot earlier. Walk us through this last little moment here where you obviously had to take the Come lead. Back, come back. Yeah, Paul's got a zig just to make the unit's user did think about it. <laughs> you know, I'm not even trying to throw the zig. I'm just trying to put it out there for, you know, craps and giggles. So. Yeah, and then I'm probably telling myself to play defense. I don't know why y'all hating on the hair, though. I don't know why they're hating on it either. I like yeah. it. This is a new and fresh me, look, man. It takes me two months to my hair. Like, At least I, you have hair now. Exactly. The classic, you were like, no, you people know, like Ben Diesel, man. W, Club Boos, man, they ain't got none of that, so. <laughs> All right, well, this is Skimbo. Thanks, brother. I'll see you later. Congratulations. Yeah. You'll play the winner of the AFC East semifinal.